welcome or welcome back to my channel people brown boss j a tours yes people so another one here at the montego bay bypass so we're currently at the fairfield section here close to the Irwin high school and you would see right now on the map on your screen there is the Irwin high school like the direction from the Irwin high school to this site area which is the entrance of the work site used by the trucks so i'll show you how it looks or how it actually looked back in august 2023 as you can see right now um it was just you know normal work be done here to excavate the area and so forth but coming back to the present now you can see the road you know it has been elevated way way up I think it's about um, some hundred meet, um, feet in the air so it's really massive right now uh, where they um, raise the structure so look at it look at it people we're in the um, Irwin um, area now close to the meadows of Irwin as you can see the bypass work is currently being done you know so as to um, speed up the process so today people um i'll take you to three areas uh this is the first part where it's close to the Irwin high school as i said before and then i'll take you to the um section that is close to tucker all right tucker granville tucker and granville section there is close um we'll take you to that site and afterwards we'll go to the barnet river where you can see the men at work, you know, working on redirecting the river. CS so yes, people, um, as you can see, road has been elevated way up in the air. So I'll go over to the other side of the hill, you know, trying to get an another view so that you can see it from a different angle. So here it is. I actually gained access from one of the neighbors uh, just in his backyard so I just stood up there and you know took a shot of the area so there you have it people amazing views right now you know overlooking the bypass right now so the men are really hard at work they work like every day even on Sundays and Saturdays so yes they work every day on this project always busy around this section here of Irwin so as you can see there people the uh, geotextiles are on the on the work area you know so as to hold the soil together it's really a massive structure right now people and as you can see there the houses are still there still adamant you know they're not moving and uh, they're awaiting words you know or an update from the actual um project managers so that they can you know work out a way as to move forward all right but the work must go on so i'm gonna take a little walk right now it's the first i've walked along this area it seemed empty so i just you know took a little chance and just walk along this area it's my first time going down here though um, but just come with me you know while I just take you around the area so yes people there you have it um, the area around here is like really beautiful you know look at the, uh, the view the hill view really stunning views here um, just overlooking the Montego Bay hill section here you know look at that view the trees in the distance yes really nice um in this area people you know can't wait until the road is completed so we can actually see you know how it all comes together it's going to be something in the future here you know something for montego bay and as you know this would be like about 15 kilometers of road of roadway that is um, so as to help with the traffic congestion here in Montego Bay all right so it's a very useful route for persons 
who want to you know avoid the downtown Montego Bay area and just go head on straight to like the Iron Shore area people so persons coming from like uh, Long Hill um, coming from the grill and you don't want to go through the hustle and bustle of downtown yes this would be the ideal route for you to take in the future yes people and you can just head on straight down to the um, North Coast Highway there in Iron Shore so come with me people while we walk it's the first I'm gonna walk on the platform here right now so come with me um, while I show you down at the bottom of the hill so there would be another road and that can take you way around um, the area right there so you can go up and go to like Meadows of Irwin so it's like a shortcut so yes people they're working on that road and uh, when we're at the edge you will see like the entrance to like the Barnet River so there is another entrance there the Barnet River so I'll show you that shortly while I just make my way down over this side all right so look at it people really we're really up high they have um, risen this roadway here like way up so there we go people all right just look at it yes people so the men are busy at work there you know just um paving out the uh, roadway there yes people so there you have it so this roadway should actually just connect connect um, straight back to the main road so that you can go over that hill and head on down to like the fairfield tucker uh granville side so we'll go there shortly so that you can see you know how work has progressed since the last time we've been there in september 2023 all right so stick with me people and as i promised later we'll go down even further um, for the first time we will go um, directly to the barnet river that's a sight to behold people really beautiful water body running there um natural water body running there in st james all right so yes people just zooming in a bit on the men at work you know a lone ranger there in the heavy equipment all right people all right and just remember to like share subscribe to my channel you know tell somebody about this channel brown boss ja tours all right we're here to stay um, giving you content like this on developments in jamaica and we also provide you know tour services where we can you can actually get like a tour around the island the beautiful island of jamaica so sign up today you can just um, check me out on Instagram, send me like a direct message, all right, or just WhatsApp me or call me, whichever way you see fit. All right, so there you have it, people. That's the road that they will, you know, dig out in the future so as to go over the hill, and that will take you down further to the um, Granville your field took aside all right so a whole lot of different um, aspects here of the Montego Bay bypass will have a lot of interchanges being uh, farmed and a lot of land spaces you know being um, exposed and developed so that we'll have like housing units being erected just the same so a whole lot of um, different things will take place based on this project and as you know it's a part of the highway 2000 um, project I think it's about like 2b 
of the project yes people so i'm gonna head on up back um i'll soon be back on the road so we can go down to the next side or the second phase of this video all right people so there you have it the men they're busy at work and i must say that um it's really busy in this area uh you will find like huge trucks just and trailers just you know carrying the the material every day back and forth from this area and they'll drive along the fairfield road you know it's causing the roads um to be even more deplorable um they have plans to fix it in the future they have started a part of it all right but um it still needs more work so we can you know uplift this area as we need the roads here at the fairfield section so there you go people so we're just gonna head on out back through the um entrance where the workmen you know come through the entrance to the site or this work area all right so we're gonna go on the road now people so come with me i'll speed up the video a bit so that we can just get there faster all right don't want to um bore you with the whole driving so let's just speed this up a bit all right so stick with me people we're almost there it's not a long drive about seven minutes you know that's what the map says but you can get there really fast if the road was not this bad you could we could actually get there in like um three minutes four minutes you know so it's not that far away from the section where we're at all right so here we go uh you see the section here depicted on the map so we're gonna get there now and i'll show you like how it actually look you know back in about i think it was about september yes people so september 2023 you would see how this section of the work of the bypass look so stay with me here so there you have it this is how it looked when they were just clearing out the trees and just preparing the area for work all right so a lot has changed in the few months so coming now to the the uh, current stage right now the present yeah see how it looks so i'll just park right there all right while i just go in i asked one of the workers you know if i can go in the area he told me that you know i can just go like right next to that truck or there about so you know we just started to wander around and trying to give you views from different angles all right people so a lot has taken place here um trust me when it rains this area is like it was really really muddy you know so you had to wear like um water boots or some 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 shoes to protect your feet and you know go through this area even the vehicles uh had to like park outside because their wheels would be really really muddy if they had gone in this area all right the rains have stopped for a moment so you'll find uh, more work being done now yes people so look at you know this section right now um being mapped out so you can see like you know somewhat see the formation of everything when it's all put together so you have an idea how it would actually look so that's good all right stick with me people i'm gonna try to go down um the bottom area a bit so we can have another view all right and when i'm through i'll go down even further um we have to drive on the outside and go around you know close to like the the um tucker section there close to bog or Vista Print for those who know uh, Montego Bay. Uh, we can go to the entrance of the Barnet River. Alright, so you will just see the 
men there at work, you know, carrying the material and, you know, just working on this area. So we have a lot of Chinese officials here, you know, Chinese workmen um, who are basically like the head contractors. When you talk about Czech, you know, Chinese engineering company. So yes, people. Um, they're the ones, you know, on site and just monitoring the project. All right, so just walk in right now. Um, they said that I couldn't go f further as the uh, men were at work there with heavy equipment. All right, so there you have it, people. A long roadway there, you know, forming out as time goes by, so... Uh, they said something about like a uh, 2024 to 2025 completion so we will see how that works out yes people will definitely see how that works out in the long run all right and i'll definitely try as best as possible so i can get you the updates you know of how this area is you know progressing as time goes by really and truly it's moving fast because just a few months ago it was not it was nothing but like burning trees and just clearing out the land and now you know they have reached you know this far all right so there you have it just trying to get like a 360 view of the area so over there you would um, find a river we're gonna head on over there soon so don't go anywhere people we will get to that section very shortly yes people so we're just taking in um the work area now so we're gonna go on the road shortly so gonna prepare now you know so we can head on back on the road so we can go to a different section which will be the third phase right now of today's video so come with me we'll go back on the road just going to speed this up a bit you know so we can head on out to the main road and get to where we're going so we can go to the barnet river all right so here is the entrance i'm gonna go in now all right and really and truly it is actually my first time you know coming to this area i've passed this area like multiple times but you know never thought about it like venturing into this area and it was it was filled with bush um, before the construction here started it was just recently you know they cleared up the land so that we would have like easy access all right so there you have it people just you know doing a, a 360 of the area uh the entrance here you can see the sign here check china harbor there all right so just park here because I'm not really familiar with the uh, area so i uh, wasn't sure what to expect all right but well, we are at oh we're actually heading um down now to the barnet river all right this area is really peaceful and quiet as i was walking you know just looking around of how this area is so you know tranquil all right so you would soon see the river um coming up all right so yes people stick with me people don't go anywhere all right yes people can't imagine when the rain falls so how this area is like really muddy 
all right but luckily it was dried the day when i did this video so you know that was good i just say you know um why not just go and video this area and uh, you know provide my subscribers with an update all right so there you have it people here is the barnet river all right so look at it and we'll get even closer so you can see how crystal clear the water is trust me people the water is really beautiful uh, you will see and sticking here um for a bit i would see like the workmen in their um four-wheel drive trucks they would just go over the river to go over the other side where you see the um, barricades there yes people they will just go there to enter the highway so or the bypass so this would actually be where the bypass would extend to throughout so that it can cross um, the main road so so as to form an intersection so they want to um, redirect this river to have it run in a different direction and just have the high the bypass come through this area serious so people um, just taking a little portrait view right now of this beautiful um barnet river here in montego bay yeah my first time here and i was amazed of how this river was trust me all right so i wanted to take a little um aerial view of how you know the men are at work you know just trying to work on redirecting the river so yes people i'll soon show you that we're just looking at the water here um have some debris in the water well as you know it's expected here but um it's still clear all right people so we will soon be airborne as i show you just a sneak peek of how uh, it actually looks from the air uh, you can see the Chinese and the um, Jamaicans they're working with yes, people a really beautiful um, river right here all right and when the rain falls they should be like really heavy when the um, water flows uh, downstream all right so should be amazing of what they would do to redirect this river i want to see how it would actually look all right um of this area all right so in the future you will definitely see how this uh turns out so just giving you a, a little um, aerial view right now you can see the area and the work site is over that end where they are trying you know working as to how they would you know redirect this river all right so i'm gonna try go up a little further so you can see it there you go and you can actually see the bypass you know um from this section yes people so a really beautiful landscape here you know so should be really amazing when this is over but thank you so much for watching guys um i appreciate the love and um just keep on sharing the channel brown boss ja tours peace